Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a fall inspired soap even though as I'm recording this I'm in the middle of August and it is hot and humid outside here in Middle Tennessee but being a soaper we have to think a season ahead so fall is on my mind and uh, so I cranked up the air conditioner to get in the spirit. <laughs> but the scent that I'm using today that kind of got me thinking of fall colors it's called Woodland Elves from Brambleberry. The label's a little faded. Uh, it's supposed to behave really well in cold processed soap. I've never used this before, but it smells really good and it made me think of just cool weather, fall colors. So with that in mind, I am going to be doing fall colors. So I have this um, matte Americana red oxide from Crafter's Choice and it's a very true red. And to that, I'm going to add just a touch of this uh, copper mica from Brambleberry just to give it a bit of an orangey rusty tint you know for fall colors for the orange I'm going to use this electric orange from nurture soap um, and I may add just a touch of the copper mica in there to sort of rust it up a little I want the red and the orange to be different colors but still in the autumn range um, for my green I'm using this evergreen mica from Brambleberry and what else do I have? Yellow. I have this Love and Sunshine Yellow. I'll just use a little wisp of that in there just to sort of pop up the colors. So that's the theme. I want to do sort of a just a fall inspired color swirl. I'm going to use aloe vera juice for my liquid portion and I got this aloe leaf powder. I bought it in bulk from an online herb supplier. Um, so I'm going to add that in there just to sort of amp up the skin nutrients and make this a really luscious bar for fall. So I'm going to get all my ingredients pulled together. My oils are melted and cooling. Get my aloe vera cooled, my aloe vera lye solution all cooled off and ready to go. Get my safety gear on, get my hair pulled back, and we will come back and make some fall inspired aloe vera soap. Also, if you enjoy my channel, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. That would be so awesome. And also I'm on Instagram. If you want to follow for more up-to-date pictures and soaping inspiration on there, please consider checking that out. Thank you. I have all of my oils melted and cooled here. And to this, I've already added my Woodland Elves fragrance. It's in the oils. And I'm going to add my additives that I want in everything, which is my aloe vera powder, um, organic colloidal oats, and kale and clay. And I want that to be in everything, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the oils and just mix this in really well before we get to adding our aloe vera lye solution and then splitting off for the colors. So I'm just going to get this blended all into everything. <laughs> everything's in here that I want to be dispersed in everything so now I've got my aloe vera organic aloe vera juice lye solution here all cooled off I gave it a nice ice bath it's good and cool I'm gonna go ahead and add it right on in here and I'm gonna hand stir this because I have four colors that I want to do and I really want to make sure I have enough time to work with everything get a nice swirly fall color going on here like the leaves changing it made me think of fall leaves and all the different array of colors on the trees and oh my goodness I just love pretty much everything about fall weather I love the leaves and the colors and pumpkins and just everything I think it's wonderful and nice relief after a hot summer <laughs> so I'm gonna get this really well incorporated and dispersed the lye I don't want any separation and once I'm confident that I have the lye fully incorporated here I'll go ahead and split off in my little containers and we'll get to coloring and I do have that um, copper mica just to add to the red and maybe the orange if I need to rust them up just a little. I don't want anything too vibrant. I'm not going for primary colors here. I definitely want warm fall colors. And of course the aloe vera leaf powder is what's making this really dark. And I actually don't mind um, that it's that color. It's kind of a fall color. It's sort of an olive brownish tone so uh, I think it just is going to lend itself just fine with our colors here so let me get my little container this little teeny one here is for my yellow 
uh, we'll go ahead and pour off into our containers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's very well incorporated. So, boy, this smells really good. It's like, um, it's a very crisp smell. Uh, like a, uh, think of a crisp fall day where, you know, like a bite in the air and it's cold outside, but the leaves are still turning. That's sort of what it smells like to me. All right, we've got that. And I'm just gonna leave a little uncolored here. All right. Now for our first container, let's go ahead and grab this green, my evergreen mica, which is so pretty. We'll put a nice scoop in here. And I'm going to whisk these and hand stir. I will use the stick blender as needed. And here's my yellow. My spoon doesn't fit in the container, so I'm just, whoops. That's a little generous, there we go. All right, got the yellow. Now, let's see what our orange does here. And we will add, again, the copper mica as needed to make a nice rusty fall orange, because that's definitely a nice bright orange. Beautiful color, but not what I'm going for. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little of the mica right now, and we'll take it from there. Okay. Now, last but not least, we have our red, our oxide matte yet red, that's right, which is a beautiful, just a very true red. It's just really straight up. All right, let's see. I think we'll go ahead and whisk, and I will probably end up stick blending a little, but oh, look at that. That's a beautiful fall yellow. There's one. Let's do the green next. I'm curious to see if I need to add more or less on here. Not less, obviously. I can't take any out if I need more. I think that's actually nice for a nice faded out green. That's looking really good. So these two, I think we're gonna let them ride. They look beautiful. Now, truth time on the orange here and see if we need to add any more orange or copper. That is looking like a really good fall orange to me. Super happy. Oh my word. That's like a pumpkin orange. Super happy there. All right. Now we got our true mica and I have not added any of the copper to this yet. And I may just let it ride. Oh, I got a little in here. Let me see. Got a little stuck in the spout. Don't want that. Okay. That's, oh man, that's hard to choose. I like the differential between the orange and the red. I think I'm going to let the red just ride on out. I think it looks gorgeous. All right. Now everything's behaving well, so I'm going to go ahead and get my stick blender out after I pull out all of my whisks. Well, I'm very happy to report that this uh, fragrance is behaving beautifully, just like it, as advertised. So that is fabulous. Let me see, I'll pull you back here a little. I'm gonna go ahead and just give everything a really quick buzz with a stick blender, and then we will move on to getting it in the mold. <laughs> All right, I've got the mold, and again, with this blue liner, it stuck on me once, so I literally put um, talcum powder on the outside to help it slide out of the mold because um, yeah that was really a bugger when it stuck I was not a happy camper <laughs> and I texted the guy at workshop heritage he was so sweet he texted me right back or messaged me right back uh, and suggested the powder and it worked like a charm so I'm very thankful for that so um, I love their molds workshop heritage they have their own website now I think because of Etsy's shipping policies, um, their whole thing that's going on, I think they went ahead and forged out on their own. All right, I'm gonna do red, then I'm gonna do green. We're just gonna sort of drop swirl and then I might run a hanger through here because I want it nice and wispy.
Okay, we're going to spray this off with rubbing alcohol and let it go through gel phase tonight. I will cover it up and we will come back tomorrow for the cut. It's the next morning and I'm going to unmold the woodland fall inspired soap here. So I love how that green color came out and I can see a little bit of flex in here from the aloe vera powder. So that's kind of groovy. 